are going to begin session 24 in your religion book. You should have your book with you and opened up to page 141. You're going to be following along with me during this video so you can read along with it. You hear it and you see it and your brain is learning in two different ways. So if you don't have your book out, I want you to pause this video, go get your religion book and open it up to the page. Okay, let's begin. Uh, before we start reading, I want to ask you some questions. This book, this session right now that we're about to read is called Making Choices. And it's going to be talking about making the choice to be respectful towards one another. So I have some questions for you before we read. The first question I have is what things do you share with others at home? Especially right now that we're at home for so many long weeks and we're doing this distant learning. Think about all the different things you have to share with your family. Go ahead and list them now for me. Okay, some of you have probably said you need to share your food. Um, if you have siblings, maybe you share a bedroom even. You have to share toys, the computer, some of you. Maybe you have to share your devices to do your learning. Um, maybe even you share a toothpaste in the bathroom, uh, your TV. So many things we have to share with one another. How do you show respect for these things that you're sharing and the other people who are also using them? Um, how are you being respectful to all of these items that you share. Okay, well, hopefully you would have written something about that you make sure you don't break it, that you're not wasting the food that you share, or you clean up after your mess. If you're done eating, you take your plate to the sink and you clean up after yourself. Maybe you keep your room nice and neat and tidy. When you're done playing with the toys, you put them away. All of these are ways to show respect for the items you're sharing, but it's also a way of showing respect towards the people that you have to share it with. If you take care of those things, the people you are sharing with are going to be very thankful and very happy. So uh, we need to make sure we take care of everything in the world around us. That is a way of showing respect towards one another. Okay, now let's begin these questions here that we have on the page. In the blue box, go ahead and follow along with me. Think of a time when someone played with your toys. Did this person respect you and your belongings? How can you respect others? So go ahead and tell me about a time someone was playing with your toys. It could be a time when somebody was respectful or a time when somebody was not respectful. Go ahead and tell me about it right now in the question. Great. And then I want you to tell me how can you respect others? What we were talking about. How can you show respect towards one another? Okay, let's go ahead. Before we turn the page, we're going to begin our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, you want all people to live in peace. Teach me to be respectful of others. Jesus treated everyone with respect. So we just asked him to help us respect others. Now spend a moment in silence asking for God's help to be a peacemaker. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's turn the page. Okay. Before I begin reading, again, I have some questions for you. What is a leader? Okay, a leader is someone who's in charge of a group or a task that you have to do. Uh, who are some leaders that you know about or have heard about? 
Okay, you probably wrote, some of you probably wrote something about a leader can be a principal, a teacher, a Girl Scout leader, a coach, uh, the president or mayors or governors that we learned about in social studies. They would all be leaders. What do good leaders do? Okay, good leaders are good examples to the others on what you're supposed to do. They teach the group how to behave, how to do whatever it is that they're um, leading about. So your coach would be teaching you how to properly uh, play soccer and how to do it in a kind way with one another and to be respectful with one another as well. Same thing with your principal or with the uh, scout leader. They're showing you how to do things, but how to do it respectfully uh, towards everybody else. Jesus chose a leader for our church. Jesus chose Peter to be the very first leader. He was the first pope of the Catholic Church. He asked Peter to continue his teachings after Jesus was going to be gone. And so uh, Peter did exactly what Jesus asked. Peter was the first leader of the church. So now we can go ahead and begin reading. This is going to be about Peter. What do you see Peter doing on this page? This is Peter right here. Yes, Peter is teaching to a group of people just the way Jesus used to do. He's showing them the way just like Jesus taught him. So we're going to read about now what Peter said. Fingers on the page, ready to follow. A community of believers. Peter wanted to teach Christians about God's plan for them. So he wrote a letter. Peter wrote, Whoever loves their life should not tell lies or say evil things. Do what is right and stay away from evil. Bring peace into the world. Now this was an ad adaptation, which means it's not written word for word. It's kind of shortened and abbreviated. From the Bible, from Peter chapter uh, 3, verse 10 through 11. What was he trying to say in his letter to the people? Okay, Peter wants them to be respectful towards one another, to do what's right. He doesn't want us to lie and do evil things. He wants us to be peacemakers. The same message that Jesus also told us. Okay, and then round here in the blue box, let's read. If you want to be happy, do not say bad things or tell lies. Always be peaceful with one another and do not sin. Also adapted from the Bible, this is from Psalms, chapter 34, verses 12 through 15. Okay, both of these are the same message that Jesus was teaching us. Christians need to act as Jesus would. We have to leave in peace and love one another, just like he taught us in the Great Commandment. Okay. Living in kindness. You should be on the next page now, 143. Okay, God wants us to be peacemakers and live in kindness. He wants us to be kind to one another and to enjoy the kindness others show us. So in what ways are people in these pictures being peacemakers? Tell me what they're doing. What are they doing? What is she doing in this first picture that is being a peacemaker? Okay, what do you think this second picture represents of being a peacemaker? So in the first one, we see that the woman is comforting the child who might be sad in some way. That is being a peacemaker. In the second picture, we see that there's lots of people here, lots of hands put together. Looks like some might be adult hands, some might be children hands. There's also lots of different colors of hands. So that probably shows that everybody is being included. No matter how old you are, if you're a boy or a girl or what race you are, everyone's being included. All right, look at this last picture. How is this 
uh, somebody in this picture being a peacemaker. All right, you probably could have seen it looks like this man's comforting the boy who is sad for some reason. He's trying to uh, make him feel better. Okay, talking to people when they're upset is a great way to be a peacemaker. Let's read the second paragraph now. When we steal, lie, or say unkind things, we sin. God wants us to make up for what we have done. We ask for forgiveness. We return what was stolen. We stop saying hurtful things. Then we can live in kindness as God wants us to. We have to do more than just saying we're sorry when we sin. We actually have to show, we have to make up for what we've done. We have to show the other person how we're sorry. And how do we show them we're sorry? Well, we, if we took something from them, we make sure we give it back. If we were saying something that was hurtful, we stop doing those types of things. All right, um, and we need to make sure we're always living in kindness. If you say you're sorry and you keep doing the exact same thing, then you're not really sorry and you're not really trying to be a peacemaker. So let's think about that when you apologize for things, when you do something wrong, it's up to you to really do your best to try not to do it again. Okay, and let's read the red box now. As we become more like Jesus, we follow him more closely. We make choices based on what we know Jesus wants for the world. He wants us to help others and to stay close to God the Father in prayer. Once again, we need to follow Jesus' example. And he was the perfect example of how we should live. When you want to be more like Jesus, making those good choices to be with him. Okay, turn the page. Quiet time with Jesus. This is very important. It's always important that you have some quiet time with Jesus. I'm going to read it and then you're going to stop the video, pause it, and go ahead and do what it says. Imagine you are sitting quietly by yourself. As you sit there, Jesus walks up to you. You begin talking to Jesus about how you have grown closer to him this year. We've learned lots of different things we should be doing in our lives to be closer to Jesus. So tell him all of those things you've been learning, all of those things you've been doing to try to be closer to him. Maybe you talk about the happy and sad times you've had. Know that you can share whatever you want with Jesus. You can ask him for whatever you need. Spend some quiet time listening to Jesus. Talk to him from your heart and listen to what he wants you to know. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and do what it says in this paragraph and then you can hit play again. Okay, and we're turning the page. You are actually gonna do this page on your own and then you're gonna send a picture to me. I'm just gonna read the directions so you know what to do. Respecting others. How can you show respect to others at home, in school, and in your community? Write R if the person is being respectful. Write NR if the person is not being respectful. So on here, I want you to read what they're doing if they're being respectful, you're going to put, oh, I'm sorry, it's showing you the answers. If they're being respectful, you're going to put an R. If they're not being respectful, you're going to put an NR. Okay, I will see all of your work when you send it to me.